Let's begin by discussing generally what is the Unified Modeling Language, or UML. Then we'll begin to look at individual UML diagrams. UML can be described as the successor of object-oriented analysis and design. UML is powerful enough to represent all the concepts that exist in object-oriented analysis and design. UML, UML diagrams are the representation of object-oriented concepts only. We talked previously about some fundamental concepts of the object-oriented world, namely objects and classes, abstraction, encapsulation and information hiding, inheritance and the inheritance hierarchy, polymorphism and dynamic binding. UML serves to perform object-oriented analysis and design. Object-oriented analysis can be defined as the investigation of objects. Design, on the other hand, means collaboration of identified objects. The purpose of object-oriented analysis and design can be described as identifying the objects of a system, identifying their relationships, that is, how the objects collaborate, making a design which can be converted into executables using object-oriented languages such as Java and C++. Again, during object-oriented analysis, the most important purpose is to identify objects and describe them in a proper way. The objects should be identified with responsibilities. Responsibilities are the functions performed by the object. The second phase is object-oriented design. During this phase, emphasis is placed on their requirements and their fulfillment. In design, the objects are collaborated according to their intended associations. Then the third phase is object-oriented implementation. This is where design is implemented using object-oriented languages such as Java and C++. UML is a language. It's not a methodology. It's a visual language and it expresses ideas, concepts, things, and relationships. UML is a standard language for specifying, visualizing, constructing, and documenting the artifacts of a software system. Let me say that again because it's important and it's the official definition of UML. UML is the standard language for specifying, visualizing, constructing, and documenting the artifacts of software systems. It is used as a general purpose visual modeling language to visualize, specify, construct, and document software systems. Now note that UML, although it's generally used to model software systems, it's not limited to simply modeling software systems. It can model non-software systems. For example, the process flow in a manufacturing unit. You see that definition on this page, and it is worth repeating a third time because you'll see this again. It's an industry standard graphical language for specifying, visualizing, constructing, and documenting the artifacts of software systems. UML is a graphical language, a pictorial language, used to make software blueprints, particularly for object-oriented analysis and design. It simplifies the complex processes of information systems analysis and design. It is an industry standard and continues in that role. So why do we use UML? Well, its graphical nature makes it more clear than natural language, which is imprecise, or programming code, which is too detailed. It, it helps to acquire an overall view of a system with each diagram representing a different perspective or slice into the system, as I like to say. It's not dependent on any one programming language or technology. 
It's not a programming language, but tools can be used to generate code in various languages using the UML diagrams. UML diagrams are not only made for software developers, but also for business users, common people, and anyone interested to understand the system. The system can be a, a software system or a non-software system. Thus, it must be clear that UML is not a software development method per se. It can also be used to describe non-software processes. Here's a short version of the a history of UML. In the mid-1990s, several large software manufacturing development companies got together and said, hey, we need to develop a standard. We have all these different analysis diagrams and design diagrams from a data perspective and a function perspective, and companies have their own proprietary diagrams. It's a mess. So what we need to do to help everyone out is to develop um, an industry standard, uh, which began in the mid-90s, and then UML 1.0 came out around 1997, and there have been several versions since then, UML 1.3 in 99, UML 1.4 in 2001, and the current version, UML 2.0 in 2003.